Ready for some more challenging problems dealing with code on tables? These guys? Then this video is for you. We're gonna up the difficulty level a little bit here and work some problems, not starting with mRNA, but with tRNA and with DNA. So skip ahead if you see a problem that looks particularly interesting. But you know I'm gonna give you all my tips, so probably check them all out. Just like before, make sure you have a code on table handy, and it's always my recommendation that if you know which one you'll have access to on the exam, that's the table you should be practicing with. I'm gonna keep one up for you though, just in case you don't have one available. The inputs for our codon table are always gonna be codons. Five prime to three prime, mRNA, three nucleotides, right? But what if the question you're being asked doesn't give you codons? What if it gives you DNA? or an anti-codon. We're going to see how to tackle those questions in this video. Let's dive right in with a question. I've got a tRNA drawn up for you on the left side, and I'm asking you which amino acid would this tRNA be charged with? Okay, it's a tRNA, so it has an anti-codon, but we've got a codon table, not an anti-codon table. So how do we figure this out? Can we use the sequence of the anticodon to figure out what codon this tRNA would pair with? Absolutely we can. And if you're like, wait a second, how did you get the three prime and the five prime? Well, they're all the way up there at the top. Remember that tRNAs have a really cool secondary structure with hairpins. Uh, so you're going to see lots of twistings and turnings. But if we were able to straighten it out and write it like so, Maybe it's a bit more obvious how we get that three prime, five prime. Using your base pairing rules, which mRNA codon would be complementary to the tRNA anticodon we've got here? G pairs with C, A pairs with U. So hopefully you got C, G, U. And keep in mind that our codon and our anticodon will be anti-parallel, meaning five prime to three prime in opposite directions. So we're gonna have five prime CGU three prime for our codon, which is perfect because that's the exact orientation, five to three left to right, that we see in our codon dictionary. So we can take this right over here find CGU and that perfect arginine. Remember the inputs for the codon table are codons. So if you're not given codons, you're going to have to do a little bit of conversion. Here we just used complementary base pairing rules in order to get from tRNA anticodon to that mRNA codon input that we need for the table. Okay, so not too bad, right? We're just dealing in the world of RNA. But what if the question you're asked gives you a DNA sequence to work with? Transcription occurs from left to right. What will be the second amino acid translated from the mRNA? All right, well, if you're looking at our starting material down here, Hopefully you are immediately noticing that this does not look like RNA, this is DNA. So we're going to have to figure out how do we get from DNA to a place where we can start figuring out amino acids. Just like we would during actual transcription, let's go ahead and separate our two DNA strands. Left to right means transcription is going to happen in this direction. And anytime you're dealing with those nucleic acids, DNA, mRNA, tRNA, etc., directionality is important, five prime and three prime, right? Well, what's the direction of transcription? How do we build an RNA? Five prime to three prime, right? You're always adding on to the three prime end. So if transcription is happening from left to right, that means we are adding on on the right side to our growing RNA. 
So this is the orientation of the mRNA that we're making. So which DNA strand is the template strand? It's got to be the bottom one, right? Anti-parallel to the mRNA that we're producing during transcription. All right, well, if the bottom strand is our DNA template strand, we can go ahead and transcribe that. Hit pause if you need to, and then play when you're ready to check your work. Hopefully something like that, right? G pairs with C, A in the DNA pairs with U in the RNA, T in the DNA pairs with A in the RNA. At the ribosome, we'd start at the five prime end and start scanning for that start codon. So let's do that. We're looking for AUG. So that's our first codon. As always, that's gonna give us methionine or FMET if you're dealing with bacteria. Next codon would be CCG. And CCG is a proline codon. And you could keep going, but for this question, we don't need to, right? We just wanted the second amino acid and we got it. It's proline. So I kind of made you get to this answer the hard way, right? Looking at directionality of these processes. But there are some word clues you can look for in the question. So first off, I could have just told you the bottom strand is the template for transcription. And you'd know right away that you could start transcribing that one. But that wouldn't have been as much fun. Or we could say the top strand is the coding strand. The coding strand or non-template strand is going to have the same 5' prime to 3' prime directionality and the same nucleotide sequence as the mRNA that we're making, except for T's and U's. One more question, starting with the DNA coding strand. Which anticodon would pair with the second codon on the mRNA transcribed from this sequence? So in this question, you're going to have to get from DNA to anticodons, tRNA. Know how to do it? Pause the video. Come back when you're ready. Ready? All right. I gave you the DNA coding strand, which I feel was very generous because you know that means all you need to do is swap the T's for U's and you've got your mRNA. Just like the ribosome, you're going to start at the 5' prime end, start scanning, looking for that first AUG right here. That's our start. Of course, that's going to give us methionine or FMET if you're working with a bacterial gene. We don't care about that right now, right? We're looking for the second codon, which is GCG. So there's that second codon. If it bugs you to have the five prime end over on the right, just flip it around. It says the same thing, but when you've got it oriented five to three left to right, that's the same way you're going to see it in a codon dictionary, which we don't need right now because we're not really worried about amino acids. We're worried about anticodons. So which anticodon would pair with this? That's going to be one that is anti-parallel and complementary. And again, you can write it either way. It means the same thing. So the big takeaways here, pay attention to what you're starting with. It can be so frustrating to miss a problem because you thought you had RNA and it was actually DNA. So if you get something that's not RNA and you need to put it into a codon table, you're gonna to have to do some conversions to get it into a place where you've got RNA five prime to three prime. All right, throw me a like if this was helpful. Uh, subscribe or check out my website for even more biology videos and I will see you next time.